Oh, hello. It's Mr. Harry here. Hmm. I love playing with Lego. And recently, I realized that most Lego pieces have dots on them. This red Lego piece has one dot, two dots. Hmm. Hmm. Now, Lego is a cool way to play with math. Let's say someone asks you to represent the number seven. What I might say to them is, I'll show you what seven looks like using Lego dots. I've shown you this Lego piece. It has two dots on it. So I'll start with that. I'm trying to get to seven. Hmm. Here's another Lego piece with four dots on it. If I add four and two, I get to six dots of Lego. If I take this piece of Lego, it has one dot on it. I'll add that to two and four. I get seven, just like this. Hmm. One thing someone might ask you is, okay, you got it. Show me a different way to represent the number seven. Well, I could take those away and hmm, I might choose a piece of Lego with six dots on it. To that, I would need to add one dot of Lego. Six plus one represents seven. What I'd like you to do now is pull out a bit of your Lego and see how many different ways you can represent the number seven. There'll be lots of ways. Once you've done that, I want you to keep going find different ways to show different numbers, like 10, or 15, or 22, or 37. See how many different ways you can show these numbers. Have fun. Share with your family, your friends, and your teachers. That would be lovely. We'll see you soon.